finally, D. Gray Man Chapter 222 is out on Manga Stream. It came out earlier on a few other sites, but I waited specifically for Manga Stream's translation to get a much better feel for this chapter. So this chapter starts out basically as we, you know, have been thinking that Alan's going to lose his consciousness to the 14th, and 14th will have his body forever. Finally, we start off with the appearance of Cross Marion in Alan's mind as he's slowly starting to disappear. However, we finally, for the first time since the 14th has really, really been taking Alan's body in for the last arc, we finally see Alan basically put his foot down and say, Fuck you, 14th. This is my fucking body, and I'm keeping it. I'm keeping this fucking body because the power of boners for Lena Lee is very fucking strong right there. I mean, they gave her face a nice big close-up and everything. Just thinking about it. Thinking about that little hug he gave her when he was leaving. It's a very touching scene. And we finally get confirmation that no, we're not losing our protagonist. He's just been napping. For quite some time. Because we haven't seen Alan for a long time. Not even counting the hiatus. But the fact that, you know, for the chapters, period. So, we haven't seen him maybe five, six chapters by now. Maybe a little bit less. But it's hard to keep track, you know, with the hiatus and the, you know, seasonally release. That being said, this is going to be a review that comes out whenever... You know, whenever it comes out during the season. So, we're not getting another video on this till, you know, God knows when in the summer. So, this is. I mean, I would have liked this video to be longer, but aside from him stepping his foot down, which takes quite a while, unlike the last few chapters, which have been tying up plot points. And, you know, even though we're still kind of confused on who Mana is and who Ney is, it's a little bit more clear and a little bit more muddled at the same time. But with this one, we just get Alan and some other people from... I can't even remember where those other people are from. Like I said, the hiatus. Maybe they haven't been introduced. Maybe. But the house has been. The house was at least in the flashback in Ney's mind... That being said, the end of the chapter gives us a very, very welcome, you know, little tidbit on the Bookman duo that we haven't seen since the parasite was put inside Robbie. I, I think that's Robbie, Ravi, Lavi. There, are, there have been many different translations for his name now that I think about it, but Bookman Jr., as they at least, you know, occasionally refer to him as is being, you know, referred to as if he's not going to be the successor to the Bookman clan. Possibly the Parasite finished him off, maybe it didn't, or maybe they're just saying there's still that danger of him dying. But, at the Campbell residence, that is where Bookman Sr. is currently residing. And he's just woken up from... I don't remember. Was he unconscious? He wasn't when the he wasn't struck with the parasite, but he was very stricken with grief over you know the parasite being inside Lavi or Ravi. I'll have to check and see what his most recent translation for his name was, because like I said, it's been a while since we've seen not only Alan but the rest of the main cast, other than Conda and Johnny. So it's a little hard to remember when everything has been retranslated throughout the you know series publication but finally we're going to get to see bookman in the next chapter in the summer i say that very happily because i've i've always loved the bookman characters and what they do for the world and world building inside of the world of d gray man it's always been a very story-driven manga. I love it very much. It's fucking amazing. So, with Bookman waiting for Alan, we at least get a little 
tidbit on what the next possible arc will be. I'm not. I don't really care much about if the author takes their time or speeds up. She, we've. She's been doing a great job of giving us just enough, or at least for me to keep me, you know, sated throughout the rest of the season. I fucking love her. She's done a great job. Hope she, you know, doesn't push herself too much. Because her health is definitely pivotal in getting this story finished. So let's hope that she gets to finish it the way she wants to. And isn't rushed because of health. Impatient fans. I hope that she gets the story she wants to finish. Because right now, she's kind of put out so much info that unless she ties it up the way she wants it, a rushed ending would mind fuck the shit out of all of us. So, we'll just wait and see. So, that's my little tidbit. I totally forgot to play the game, but fuck it. I have other videos I'll be doing. I'll be doing a fairy, review, fairy tale review next. I guess I'll start with that. Either way, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see y'all later. Have a good, have a good afternoon.